Hey folks, wanted to do a video today about a horse's nervous system, okay? Um, it's uh, actually a really fascinating study with horses because they run kind of a dual system uh, within their bodies and this is why they are so phenomenal at therapy work with uh, human beings because the duality in a horse, they have something called a sympathetic and a parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system is what is known as fight or flight, okay? Meaning if they're hit with a situation, they are either going to fight it, like kicking, striking, biting, or they are just going to run away. Um, the other component of that is the parasympathetic nervous system. And that basically consists of the rest and digest system. So. What that means is instead of fight or flight with the sympathetic where they just take off or they're fighting you, they are going to rest and digest, which means they're going to remain calm and they are going to digest what you are trying to show them or what is happening around them in their environment. For instance, you know, if the tractor pulled in here right now and you had some horses who were not accustomed to it or not desensitized to it, they might opt to utilize their, their uh, sympathetic nervous system and choose fight or flight. Meaning that most of them, if they saw the big you know, tractor coming in here, they would take off running. That is called flight. But if you had, if they were utilizing their parasympathetic nervous system, hi Cutter, then they might just hang around like him. And they might look at the, um, the, the tractor entering the, the little paddock area here they might just kind of stand there and watch it. They might be a little concerned, but they would process it. They would rest and digest. So more digest than rest in, in that in that instance. I would think that a, a typical lookout for that would be their head would be up, their ears would be forward. They would be watching the machinery as it came into their environment, but not necessarily trying to fight it, like kick it or anything like that, and certainly not running away. They would be rest and digest. So how is this uh, relating, how does this relate to human beings and therapy? Well, it's really, really fascinating with these guys because uh, working with a horse in equine assisted therapy can actually get you far more, um, well, I, let, me, let me not say more. I'm going to back up on that. I don't want to offend every, you know, therapist out there, but you can get different results when utilizing a horse in a therapy session because a horse, you know, they 